Bismillah. Welcome everybody to a brand new episode of We Inspired. You may have seen me on my other YouTube channel called Latif's Inspired. I'm a professional chef, food critic and a travel around the world. Now I've decided to join up with my friend over here and he's traveled everywhere. So we've decided to, um, he's my childhood friend, so we're gonna have a laugh and show you these fantastic locations and best eateries all over the world. But due to the current pandemic, we're stuck in good old London and we're gonna be showing the best places where we grew up eating. So without further ado, Hi guys, I'm Maruf. Welcome to a brand new episode of We Inspired. Like we said, Latif and I, we're going to take you around the world and show you some of the best destinations, the best beaches and the best places to be. And I think to myself, what a wonderful Right, as you can see, this is the famous uh, MI6 building, James Bond and so on. Look at that, that speedboat over there. There you go. That's Mr. Sean Connery himself. <laughs> you got the Vauxhall Bridge over here. Fantastic. Look at these double-decker buses. Absolutely beautiful. And these buildings weren't there when I grew up. Um, it's just changed so much. It's unbelievable. The landscape of, I can't even recognize it since I've come back. And if you can see over here, we actually, there's a few ladders. We actually used to climb down here and uh, imagine that's the seaside. <laughs> Living in London, you couldn't go to the beach all the time. But when we were younger, we used to be naughty boys under there. All right, we've just come to Parliament. Right, that's the famous Westminster Pier. So this is just on Westminster Bridge. If you guys are in London, you get your souvenirs from here. Right, that's the Big Ben. It's rejuvenation. Down in London, mate. That's the Lion of South Bank. Right, this is a beautiful place. As you can see, it's nice and clean. Normally it's packed, you can't walk over here. But um, as you know, because of the situation, it's nice and empty. But look how clean they've kept it. You've got a lovely pret a manger there if you want a little sani. It's got free Wi Fi, we all need that. Pool, uh, um, what's that? Um, arcade. Arcade. You've got a bowling place, Bob Cars. Um, cash for him. Cash point. And restaurants. And a restaurant. London Eye. So we're going to go and show you the London Eye. Just before the London Eye, you've got this lovely sea life. So as you can see, just before the London Eye as well, there's this lovely, famous uh, Shrek's adventure tour. God bless her cotton soul. Let's enter the London dungeons, yeah? Fair part of the Madame Tussauds company. Bloody hell, you can't visit London without the fish and chips. It's halal, you know? I can still open you. Are you getting tourists? So you've got your handcrafted ice cream. Yeah, some ice cream. $3.95. So vanilla, chocolate hazelnut and a British berry at £3.95 which is very reasonable for London. There you go, beautiful. Phenomenal infrastructure and now we're going to go on to the next. Right, this is the famous Winston Churchill. Bit controversial figure but I had to come here and just to say chill Winston. Go on. Yeah. So you've got a famous Parliament Square here. Rolls Royce in front of us. Boss man Azul. We've got his private number plate. Let's check it. How much are one of them Rolls Royce, Maruf? Well, anything starting from 200 grand. So we're in Park Lane, Maruf, yeah? Yes, there's a Park Lane. Coming towards the arch, yeah? Yeah. Bloody hell, there's loads of people here, you know, in Park. That's Hyde Park. Loads of people in there. I don't know where these tourists come from. Or well, it's probably just the locals, I suppose. People going a bit loopy, staying at home. These water station. So we're just gonna go into the shops now. Okay guys, this is it, old school Taza. We're coming here when we we're kids. Oh my gosh, there's already a queue outside. Famous Taza. We're at Taza Kebab here. These guys have been established since 1985. Right, so we're at the Taza um, Kebab place. This is where we've come all the way specifically today. Um, they've been going in for a very long time, for years. Uh, when I spoke to somebody inside, she said she'd been coming here for 22 years. I've been coming here for about, about a good over 15 years and I love it over here. And so I've come 
to remember and hopefully talk about the food and the guys have been uh, very pleasant and they're going to let us actually speak to them and they're going to show us their beautiful food as well. I'm going to have a large lamb shawarma. So Maruf is going to have a large lamb shawarma. Uh, if I, I would have wanted the lamb shawarma but um, I need to try the chicken so hopefully I can give you a very good honest review so what I'm gonna try I'm gonna try the mixed shawarma and Maruf is gonna have the lamb shawarma so uh, we're gonna ho hopefully speak to the manager and he's gonna tell us about a bit about the food as well as where they come from and hopefully uh, gonna talk to, uh, to us in a bit of detail so hopefully it's gonna be very exciting <laughs> Um, can you tell us what are the shish, uh, what are the kebabs that you do? I can see one is chicken, lamb, chicken, uh, lamb and chicken. So the chicken must be most popular. They've got two skewers of uh, chicken and one big lamb. And as I said, I personally want to have the lamb, but Maru's going to try the lamb and I'm going to have a bit of mix to, sh to show you. Because as far as I remember, the chicken was so soft and tender. So I have to try the chicken as well as the lamb. So I'm going to try the mix. Have you mix? One mix large and one lamb large. Yeah. Can you tell me where you uh, originate from, please? Palestinian. Oh, mashallah. Yes, so these brothers originally from Palestine, so um, they should have the Palestinian influence. Um, but I don't know how they get it so nice and soft, but I'm going to try to ask them. Habibi, I want to ask, um, how do you keep the chicken and the lamb very soft? It's falafel, hummus, aubergine. Okay. It's a vegetarian menu. Do you do the hummus yourself also, as well? Yeah, yeah. Everything? Everything here we do yeah. ourselves. So they do a fantastic vegetarian option as I've seen over here, loads of falafels, some aubergine and I think there was um, the hummus that they do is their well, own as well. For you as well. So as far as I remember the, the flavours are amazing and they do a lovely yeah. white garlic sauce and I'm going to still I'm ask sure them do they yeah. still do that sauce because uh, that sauce is absolutely to die for. Yeah. Can you just tell us what you're putting in if you uh, We've got a mixed uh, salad uh, which has uh, uh, garlic, um, carrot white cabbage, red cabbage, um, the lotus as well, tomato, Fantastic. yeah, and um, we've got onion. So it's a well, lovely coleslaw type salad as well as some fresh onions. Yeah, we've got garlic sauce. This is the sauce that I um, really enjoy. Sesame seed. Tahini, um, yeah? Tahini, yes, and, and spice. Here you go. Oh, so yeah. this is, uh, we're about to feast into yeah. this lovely lamb, shawarma, mixed shawarma for him. I haven't had this one of these for a few months. Um, being that whole and cooking your mummy. This is good. Fork. 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 Okay. So to start off with, this is uh, my mix shawarma. So it's a lamb and chicken. Looks absolutely gorgeous. Maruf, let's see your one. So this is Maruf's. Look at his chicken. Looks absolutely beautiful. So mm. Maruf, how does it taste? This is amazing as always. Yeah. It's lovely. Really. Can I just can you just bring it up? Can you show me a little close up of the chicken, please? Look at that. And the sauces are just just amazing. Salad. This is brilliant. Is it tender, nice and soft nice, and succulent? Soft and tender. Look at this. Yeah. Fantastic. Beautiful, yeah? Now let me try mine. Look at this. So this is the amazing, as you can see here, lovely lamb, beautiful chicken, and you've got this lovely white sauce, which um, which he said to me is uh, it's a garlic sauce, and they've also got the sesame sauce, which is the tahini. So this is very authentic and very flavoursome as far as I can remember. They've got a phenomenal coleslaw type of salad, which has got the cabbage, the carrots, the onions, raw onions, so it's gonna be amazing. And this is just a lovely, nice little pita bread. So after they put in the kebab, they put it into the grill, so it's got that toasted bread. Um, now I'm gonna try it. Firstly, I'm gonna try the lamb. With a bit of onion, a bit of the white sauce, and most importantly, bismillah. Yeah, that is beautiful. The lamb is tender and soft. The reason being is because 
They told me they don't just use the leg of lamb, they actually butchered the whole lamb, so the shoulder of lamb, etc, etc. So it's absolutely phenomenal in flavour. Now I'm going to try a bit of the chicken as well. That's absolutely beautiful. It's not overpowering. The flavour, sometimes when you have a kebab, it's a bit too spicy, but these very plain, but very flavoursome. It's the natural ingredient that you can taste. So now I'm going to actually have a big fat bite. That's the real deal there. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful. I'm gonna enjoy this now. Gorgeous. I've got to admit, that's one of the best kebabs I've had and I, I don't really eat kebabs unless it's really good top-notch food and for me this was worth the while, it was absolutely beautiful. Maruf? As always, definitely. So this bring, brings us back when we was very young teenagers. We used to come here and enjoy these lovely kebabs and we really enjoyed it now. He's in his 50s, I'm in my 30s, so I'm really enjoying it. <laughs> Beautiful kebabs. I've got to say, I've really enjoyed that. And now it's time for the difficult part is to pay for it. You're going to be washing the dishes, mate. The, well, uh, the, the manager has been, the hospitality has been fantastic. You're welcome, guys. So, so the owner, his wife, um, she has a YouTube oh. channel. What's the channel? Uh, it's a Noor BS. Uh, it's uh, Noor BS and she does Arabic food, house cleaning and so on. So it's going to be a fantastic, I'll try to put a link at the bottom of the description box. And now uh, we're going to pay this uh, lovely uh, manager. He's been very nice to us. He actually let us sit and eat here within this pandemic. It was a sectioned out area. So it's very humble hospitality. Habibi, how much? Thank is you. It? No problem. That's fine. Are you sure? For us there, of course. Oh, See, so oh, today. See, this is the amazing hospitality. Alhamdulillah, we are blessed as Muslim brothers. He's actually giving it, which I don't do not want, but I'm gonna make sure I come and see him again, and next time I'll pay. He won't stop me. Habibi, so, I know you can't shake Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Right, guys. Hope you've enjoyed our first ever vlog. Now uh, we've had a fantastic time. We started off um, at the Tate Britain, showed you a few destinations around in London. I can't wait personally to go to some exotic place like Thailand or so on, but it is what it is. We're gonna we had a fantastic time. Hopefully we're gonna have some amazing vlogs for you guys in the future. But most importantly, make sure share some love and like, share and subscribe to this wonderful channel if you wanna see some more fantastic videos. From me, Maruf, see you soon. Thank you very much.